Welcome to kidsacademy.mobi. Hello everyone. Let's open the worksheet. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. You can find the link to this app in comments below. Today we have a new worksheet and the name of our worksheet is called Let's Regroup to Add. And I'm going to be teaching you today about a rule in mathematics and the rule is called associative property. And basically what that means is that three numbers can, will always kind of go together, okay? So like for example, three plus two equals five. We'll say the three numbers that we're going to talk about here is three two and five, okay? They always go together in an associative property. So basically what that means is we can mix up these numbers in about four different ways and they will always go together. So for example, three plus two equals five. I could switch three and two and I could say two plus three. Well, that also still equals five, right? And then I could even make it into a subtraction problem. I could take five minus and I could either plug in three or two. So let's plug in three. Five minus three equals Two. And then I could do it one more time. I could say five minus two equals three, okay? So this is the associative property. These three numbers always go together. Now these are really small numbers, and today what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using kind of big numbers, like 18, 23, 46, and these are a little bit more difficult to figure out. So what the directions say today is trade ones for tens and solve the addition problems. Check the correct sum. So that's what I'm gonna do today, is we're gonna go through this and we're gonna regroup. And regroup basically means that you're taking the same numbers that are in the associative property, but you're changing the way that you're looking at them or that you're grouping them in a different way. So for example, our first one here says 18 plus eight. And I'm gonna draw out what all of these numbers are over to the side. Now, you remember that this long stick equals what? It equals 10, right? It represents tens, and then these individual units equals ones, okay? So what they've done to make this easy for you is they've drawn out our long stick that is 10 ones, and then we've got, and I'm just gonna put dots here to make this fast, but we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus, and then we've got how many over here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna put this over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so this is 18 because we've got the 10, so 10 plus eight is 18, and then we've got the ones over here, which is eight. So this is this equation, 18 plus eight, and we're trying to solve for the answer. Now we can count up every little thing here or we can regroup and regroup makes our eyes, it kind of tricks our eyes into seeing it in an easier way. So what we're gonna do with this is we are going to just find 10 of all of these ones and we're gonna squish them together and we're gonna take away the ones and we're gonna make a new group of 10. So I want you to count with me 10 units. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna take all of those units, which I know now equals ten, and I'm going to make this. I'm gonna make a new ten. So I've got one ten here, and now I've just made a new ten with all of these units of one, and then I'm just gonna add that to whatever is left over over here. So this equals what? One, two, three, four, five, six. It equals six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six units. So now we've got 20, this is two units of 10, plus six. So 20 plus six equals what? Well, that's pretty easy, it's 26, right? So let's see if that is the correct answer to 18 plus eight, okay? 
And if we're right, then that 26 would be part of that additive property as well. So 18 plus 8, we think, equals 26. So let's plug this in. And let's just count it up. Let's count the individual ones that we've got here. So we've got 18. We're going to count on 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we've got it. Here is our, our group of numbers, our three numbers that always go together. But we regrouped them in a way that our eyes could see that was a lot easier when we have just the tens to count up instead of each individual unit. So that's what we're going to do for the rest of our problem. So the answer down here, 18 plus 8, is 26. So I'm going to put a check right here. Okay, let's go on to the next one. The next one is 23 plus 19. And let's draw out what they've got. They've got two units over here of tens and they've got them laying on their side but I'm gonna make mine standing up and then they've got one two three units of one plus and they've got one stick right here of ten or a column of ten and then over here they have nine individual units one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then we're going to add them up together. So we've got tens and tens and tens here. So we've got three tens, and that's pretty easy to see. But we want to take all of these individual units and turn them into another ten so that we don't have to count them all up. So we know how many is over here. Well, it's 19, so there's nine units. So nine plus one, we could take one of these over here, bring it over here, and then this whole thing we could change just into a 10. So instead of counting all of these units, all of these individual units, we would change this just into one 10. So now we've got one, two, three, four, okay, tens. And how many ones do we have? Let's count up our ones, one, two. So we've got two ones, okay, which gives us the number 42. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna put a check next to 42. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Instead of counting up all of those individual ones, we just took all of the ones, squished them together, made them into a column of 10, okay? Let's go on to the next one. The next one is seven plus 46, okay? Seven plus 46. And I'm gonna draw this out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got 46, which means one, two, three, four columns of 10. Or, um, and then we've got six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take seven, okay? And then I need to count to 10, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm gonna circle these, okay? And then I'm actually not gonna use these anymore. I'm just gonna make a new column of 10 because we know that seven plus three is 10. And then we're gonna see how many we have left. So now, how many of these do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five tens, okay? And how many units of one do we have? We have one, two, three. So our answer is gonna be 53, 53, there it is. See how easy that was when we regroup and we count them? Because we know that there's three numbers that go together in an additive property, but it's hard for us to see that sometimes and have to count all of these individual units. So we regroup to make it easier so that we can just quickly see all of those tens in these columns. So that's much easier and that's a lot of fun. I enjoyed that a great deal. So I will see you guys again next time. Bye-bye. Like us and subscribe to our channel. Find links to our apps and comments below.